What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTSMobile.com, bringing you a quick Friday shirt video. Happy Friday. We got the Friday shirt on today. We're ready to rock and roll. We're in the home office, um, and we are making some videos. So, all right. We are doing a video on Warhammer Chaos and Conquest today. We're going to talk about current unit stats, um, the recommended unit stat changes, and, uh, and kind of go from there. So if you're not aware... Um, a few months ago, we did make some suggestions to the uh, Warhammer Chaos and Conquest developers for unit stat changes. They did take that feedback into advisement, and they were able to incorporate, um, I'd say, probably around 70% of the changes we requested. They used slightly different values and slightly different approach to some of the changes, but all the units, 70% uh, of the units we asked to be changed uh, have been changed in the last two patches. So this is attempt number two to get additional units balanced out and really make this game um, a little bit better rounded so let's just get on it okay let's get going baby oh and special shout out to uh, everybody over at uh, KDL locks AOA for all of their input on these unit changes all right we'll just start from tier two to tier five we'll go in order so chaos chariots they are supposed to be a uh, ranged unit, right? But their base melee damage and melee attack makes them a melee unit. Not that this is a huge deal, they're only tier 2, but I would highly recommend they get changed, um, either change their tooltip to melee or change their range damage to make them an actual ranged unit. Um, okay, next item we've got here is the Forsaken of Corn, the renowned, uh, renowned Corn Infantry Unit, Tier Three. Um, these guys, as you can see in my comments here, they deal more damage. They deal more damage than Tier Four than the majority of the Tier Four units. Um, and when you combine that with the new Skull Taker Warlord, uh, actually they're a little bit broken. So I don't want to nerf them into the ground. I like the, the, the fact that a renowned troop is stronger than the other Tier Three troops. But I would say a modest uh, or a medium-sized nerf from 60 to 50 on their attack stat. So you see their current DPS is 210. With a change to 50, their DPS is going to go to 175. Even if you change it to a, a middle ground of 55, they're still going from 210 to 193, which is uh, almost a 10% drop. So I would say somewhere between 50 to 55. Whoops. Somewhere between 50 and 55... Um, for their base attack will give them a much more desirable attack stat. Okay, the renown Bile Trolls of Chaos. These guys are horrible. Their damage is horrible. They do 45 actual DPS. Their toughness is, is nice. So my, my thoughts are keep them as good toughness, keep them as tanks. The only problem is their current morale stat, 44, is way below the other Tier 3 units at an average of 58. So in order to tank for these morale units that have 56 morale and 64 morale, I would recommend you at least bump this up to 57. So let's increase that again from 44 to 57, and you'll have the ability to tank in front of some of these other units. Um, the renowned uh, Sorcerers of Tzinched. These guys are also horrible. Um, their... Uh, their damage is just absolutely terrible, and in fact, it's kind of kind of comical. They're noted as a ranged unit, however, um, because of their uh, <clears throat> their melee attack stat is so much higher than their ranged attack stat, they actually come out as a melee DPS unit. So, let's go ahead and either uh, increase their range damage from 22 to 30, which would boost their from melee to range. You see that? Look at that. See that? See this cell right here? When I boost this to 30, they move from melee to ranged. Their damage goes up a little bit, and they and they become somewhat useful. So I would do that, and in fact, I'd I'd probably bump their damage up even higher to like 35, and put them on a little bit better damage footing. Okay, next unit we're going to talk about are the slaughter brutes. Now these guys are nice. They did get changed in the last patch, which was great. Um, I will say that uh, their damage is, is still abysmal, but that's okay because they're not a damage-dealing unit. You're going to really put them in there for soaking, um, and they're going to complement uh, complement your, your Chaos Giants and their toughness. So what I want to do 
is boost their morale from 47. It's still a little bit low. Let's boost that up to, I don't know, give, give me something to work with. You know, give me like a 52 up there, and then I can boost that unit type morale and kind of get them um, soaking <clears throat> before some of these other units. Okay? All right, on to the next. Gore Beast Chariots. These guys did get a bump in the last patch. It's a very nice bump. We really appreciate the damage and the attack being increased. Um, I would recommend we bump the ranged attack stat from 30 to 33. Just make them a little bit little bit better of a unit because right now they're still way below some of the tier 3 unit DPS <clears throat> at 30. So let's boop the, boost their base DPS from 90 to 99. A 10% boost. Pretty modest. Let's do that. And on to the Chaos Chosen. Now I'm going to get a lot of hate mail for this. I already know. But that's okay. I'm here to speak my mind and tell you how I feel. Chaos Chosen do way too much damage. If we sort this DPS chart from largest to smallest, you will see Chaos Chosen. There's the only units better than them on damage are three tier 5 units. They're better than three other tier 5 units. Um, and they're better than all of the other tier 4 units. They are so much better than the other tier 4 units, it's disgusting. 270 base damage when the next highest tier 4 unit is 204 base damage. That's too much of a difference, okay? I would highly recommend you you um, nerf their damage from 1,200 DPS, uh, 1,200 melee damage to 1,100, which is going to take them much more in line with the other tier 3. They're still going to be the strongest tier 3 unit by a factor of 20%. Um, so if you guys can't deal with them only be being 20% stronger than tier 4 units and you rather have them 40%, then uh, then I don't know what to tell you. I think having them 20% stronger than other Tier 4 units is definitely within reason. It's definitely the intent of the game type. So let's stick with that. So again, drop the Chaos Chosen from 1,200 damage at 270 DPS down to 1,100 damage. Okay? That'll take us from 270 to 248. Alright. Uh, back to my... Da, 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 da. And I can make this spreadsheet available for you if you'd like to play around with it yourself. And you can kind of see where, what we're doing. Okay, the next unit I want to change, the Plague Drones of, uh, of Nurgle. These guys are... <sighs> they're not exciting. Right now they're just a filler unit. I don't, I'm not going to train them. I would like to train them because I do like Nurgle quite a bit. Um, you got to do something here, okay? So I'd say you boost their melee attack from 25 to 30. And that'll give them a nice bump in damage, overall DPS. And then you can also increase their armor, because they have a high health pool, but they have pretty terrible armor. So I would bump them, uh, maybe give them a 35 armor in there. That's a pretty big boost from 1,500 toughness to 1,750, right? So it's 30 to 35. Let's do that. The Chimeras, um, these guys are nice. I will say... Um, they need to get their damage and their range attack stat bumped up a little bit because right now they can't really compete. They're what you you need keep level 27 to get them, and they deal you know 40% less damage than chosen, who are keep 25. Um, I would recommend boosting these guys, making them a little more useful. Maybe bumping up their range attack stat to 45. That's going to take them up to 236. Or even 42 will take them up to 221, which means Chosen are still better. However, Chimera will be um, a contender for decent damage. So, again, bump the Chimera's range attack from 37 to 42, and you'll see their overall DPS go up. And again, this column is the actual DPS. This column is the actual toughness. These are the base stats right here. So that's what we're, we're modifying to get to these. Okay? All right. Next. Uh, we did Plague Drones. We did Chimeras. Now we're on to Chaos Trolls. These guys are the most useless unit in the game. Um, they literally do nothing. They have uh, abysmal damage. They have like a negative amount of morale. And their armor is so low that they're, they're pretty useless at tanking. So, if you want to keep their damage low um, and use them as tanks... Um, this is to the devs. You know, if you want to keep their damage low and use them as tanks, maybe leave their melee attack at 22. Fine. Okay, but let's bump their morale. It's, it, I mean, you gotta, you gotta put them, you gotta make them useful, right? So let's bump their morale up to like 62. Okay. Um, or, or add a warlord that increases their morale. I'm okay with that. If we get a good warlord in there that boosts the morale and is actually useful for a, uh, 
an infantry type march. And then definitely boost their armor. 26 is terrible. At least give me like 30 to 35. 35 would make them a decent tank on par with, uh, with the, you know, a little bit worse than Vortex Beasts and Chariots, a little bit better than Chaos Knights. Um, if Chaos Trolls had 35 armor instead of 26, um, they would be, uh, they would be a pretty useful tank. Okay, next, on to the Tier 5. Here comes the juicy stuff. Here comes more hate mail after this. Gonna get some, some bags of poop lit on fire at my door. Okay, Demon Prince of Corn. Right now, their damage is a little bit underwhelming, and their toughness is a little bit high. So let's bump their damage from 900 to 1,000. Boom! And let's go ahead and reduce their health to 1,400. Boom! And now we have a solid damage-dealing melee unit that still has pretty decent toughness um, and can really make an impact, okay? The next Tier 5 unit I want to talk about are the Hell Flayers of Slanish. These guys are not... Not that useful yet. I would like to make them more useful. I would like to increase their damage to be a little bit closer to their their uh, fellow chariots of Tzitzh. So let's bump their damage up to 1,300, which will add a cool play because the Tzitzh chariots, right, they have super high uh, attack stat and will make Slayers super high damage stat. So you can kind of get some get some alternating synergies there with a Warlord that boosts attack and a Warlord that boosts damage. So I would increase their damage from 1200 to 1300. Leave them alone after that. Okay? And finally, the last unit changes I want to talk about in this spreadsheet before I get to the other re requests. Um, all the defenses, all the melee defenses are just, they're just disappointing. You know, the ranged defenses deal you know, they're not, they're not that great. They, they they deal uh you know bottom of the rung bottom of the of, of the tier damage so if you're gonna leave um the the range damage that low then you need to increase the melee health a little bit so that way they're useful as tanks because I want to be able to pick I don't want to have to be pick between terrible and useless I want to pick between terrible and less terrible so let's bump their health up 20 percent. That would be, uh, uh, f you know, for example, the Tier 2 Slurry Pits from 500 to 600. The toughness is going to jump way up, right? Just increase them all um, and give them, make them useful. Look at this toughness column. These are so useless. They're so terrible. For the, 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 the melee do so little damage, and they have such bad toughness. So we just have to look at the traps. We've got to modify the traps, please. Okay, now on to the other unit-related requests. I have four different requests for ranged corn units. Um, I had some suggestions of maybe a skull cannon type, which would be interesting. Okay, and I, I, I'm, I'm all for more ranged. There's too few ranged in this game, so the more ranged, the better. Um, two, we need some armor equipment to support Tier 4 God-specific troops, specifically the Tzinch and the Slanish uh, melee units. We don't have anything to support those Tier 4 melee units right now. We need those, okay? Um, there's no need for ranged damage stat on Demon Princes. Not that you know, it's really going to impact the game too much, but uh, again, there's really no need for the for the ranged stat on Demon Princes. And then um, add better Slanish Warlords to support Tier 3 and Tier 4 troops. Um, so those are the other requests. So that's it. I don't want to make this too long. I know I've already kind of gone into detail on everything. The changes, again, are highlighted in red. Devs, please take a minute. Check out our comments on this. If you disagree, that's fine. Just let us know. You know, give us a reason why, so we can kind of figure out what's going on. And then, uh, super excited for the new, super excited for the new units coming out real soon. Um, with the next patch, we are starting to see God-specific. They're converting some of these undivided troops into God-specific troops, which is just gonna be fantastic. And I can't wait to see how that that works out. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Happy Friday. Comment on the video. Jump into the developer Discord and the, uh, the content uh, creator channel after I post this video. And go ahead and comment on the stats that you like or you don't like. If I miss some changes you want to include, comment on it so we can get the devs to look at it. We can get a discussion going. 
And I mean, like I said last time, we uh, we did a similar spreadsheet that I submitted to the devs uh, a few months ago, and they've actually changed, like I said, like 75, 80% of the units that I commented on, they have balanced out and made changes to. So this is a really great opportunity for us to get their ear for a few minutes and let them know what changes we think would be great to keep this game uh, keep this game thriving uh, and make sure the combat is nice and balanced without useless filler units. So, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. We're going to conclude the video here. Uh, stay tuned for more videos later today because I have some other really cool stuff coming out. And Randy, out, baby. Love you long time. Happy Friday.